And I want to do a trade. I want to do an investment, whatever it is. I want to buy a building. I want to buy an investment fund. I want to buy something. I want to buy an eigenvalue trade. It doesn't matter. I want to the bank because I want to do a leveraged trade. And this is what comes in my next slide. If I go to the bank because I want to do a leveraged trade, and the bank can give me the loan, or the bank can do something different. The bank can issue bonds for me. The bank can use my investment as collateral and get other people's money. Yeah, so now this is so this is a different situation, and this is this is how structured credit investments work. Okay, so. Um, this is me, I'm the investor, I'm the investor. And these are the lenders. They lend money to my investment, whatever the investment is. This is interesting because the bank now will only do the arrangement for the loan. The bank is not going to be giving me their money. But now I'm going to borrow money from other people. I'm going to borrow money from other people and I'm going to buy from other people by issuing bonds. The bank will issue the bonds. The bank is going to give me a loan, but the money does not belong to the bank. It belongs to other people. What's interesting about this is not so much that I am the investor and I can invest with leverage and make a lot of money. The good thing is that now I am creating new instruments, bonds, that bond investors can buy. This is fantastic. This is very, very good. Very, very good. Why? Because it creates financial products. Whenever you have a situation where you create a new financial product, the financial sector will like you. Financial sector likes the creation of new products, and this creates new products. I have turned a loan into a bond issuing mechanism. Mm -hmm. So I have bonds. These are defaultable bonds. I'm not sure if you know what a defaultable bond is. A defaultable bond is a bond that has a certain security, but the security is not fixed. The security would go up or down. In this case, the security is the value of my investment. If my investment is good, then the security is good and the bond will not default. But if the security is bad, if I lose money on my investment, these bonds could default. Because these bonds could default, they pay a higher yield. And they are very attractive bonds. Uh, I have here, I'll show you, I have here, I have here, the relationship between the probability of default of my bond and the yield. Mm -hmm. uh, the yield, um, see this, this bond, so there is a relationship between the probability of default and the yield. And what does the probability of default? These bonds work as follows. When people lend me money for my investment, my investment will last a certain amount of time. When the time is up, then what I do is before I can collect any money, I have to pay all the debts. There is a relationship between yield and probability of default. That's number one. But then when I do the bonds, the bonds have a certain seniority. That's the word, seniority. And what that means is that some bonds are paid first. If you're paid first, that means that your bond has a low probability of default because you get paid first. Those bonds have a lower yield. Okay, for example, this one. The yield is lower. because the probability of default is lower. When I have a higher yield, this one, the probability of default is higher and the yield is higher too.